You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Word. And, um, yeah, I love the fact, too, that there was no, like, bullshit involved when you wanted to go, you know, battle on, on KOTD. Or you wanted to do small leagues. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, speaking – going into the KOTD thing, too – um, and they were they were they were in full support of that too. So. ARP. Yeah, they didn't have a problem with That's it at fire. all. That's fire. Yeah. So, um, you know, like coming into the KOTD tournament, um, you know, we 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 seen what what went on last week. We'll get to that. Um, but coming into this thing, um, I, I kind of want to get a little bit of the backstory before we address like, you know, the the elephant in the room with the city tower shit. But, you know, what was it like? You know, when, when they first called you, did you know about this point system thing or or was it strictly you're battling for a hundred thousand? Like, was it explained completely or um, you know, I honestly no, no, it wasn't really explained how it is. Obviously, it's in the contract, but for the most part, you know, it wasn't you didn't I don't think nobody felt like they were walking into a different format of battle rap. And that's what it came out to be. Like, yo, this is a whole different format. They didn't explain that they had a whole different judging committee that had nothing to do with King of the Dot. They didn't explain that they were going to have Team Homie members judging battles when Team Homie rappers were in there. They didn't explain that they were going to have I battle judges for I battle battlers judging I battles they didn't and but they did say ARP couldn't judge my battle so you know they they were really all over the place um and I know some I know the intentions are good uh I know they're trying to do something right but uh I I I don't think they crossed all their T's and dotted their I's the point system's a fucking joke it's a disgrace to battle rap um it's it's disgusting it's disgusting that anybody thought that was productive yeah they didn't think that one through I mean think about it it actually they set up a system that somebody could go three and O and have lower points than somebody who didn't win a battle and an O and three person could go to the playoffs on points. That is disgusting. Do you hear me, King of the Dot? That is disgusting. It is disgusting when a battle rapper can win two rounds of a three round battle, get four judges out of five judges, but lose the battle. That is disgusting. You guys are not helping the culture that way. You're hurting it. It's not right. Mm. Not right. You need to fix it. Now, I think they're, they're, I, I think the objective of the points were to separate tiebreakers, mm-hmm. right? I well, think that's what. Well, in my opinion, in my opinion, I might be wrong, but um, I think that the point system was more to hold the judges accountable for the 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 you know the debacle that went on with the with the tournament the first time that that's that's just what I'm thinking um from what I, my understanding was was you know each judge you know was going to be held accountable based on points I had no idea that it was going to be you know for the battles you know I just thought that this was going to be to hold the judges accountable but you know so where where were you at with the um yeah, so basically just saying, like, the, the, the point system wasn't really overly explained because I don't think most of them understood it. Mm-hmm. Right? So... You mean, um, when you say everybody, you mean the judges, not organic and not, not you know, King Fly, J-Pro. I'm sure they understand. You're talking about the judges. Well, yeah, I'm sure the people who actually created the format mm-hmm. understand, but um, I'll give you an example. Um... In my third round versus City Towers, I think two of the judges gave it 10-8, and then other judges gave it 10-7. Mm-hmm. That's four judges split down the middle on comprehension of what the rules are. Who does that hurt? The battlers, right? You got two judges who say, oh, that's a choke. That's a 10-7 round. You got two judges like, ah, that's the end of the round slip up. I'll just take a point off. So when you got judges judging the battles, the same, same battles, and they're under different uh, notions of what actually are the rules and what the deduct points, it's all over the fucking place. And, you know, with $100,000 on the line, you know, you can't have those mistakes. I mean, I listen, man, I, I didn't need no King of the Dot looks. I didn't need to do a King of the Dot tournament. 
I'm on max out fucking cards and, and big RBE pay-per-views every two months. I'm I'm fine. Like, you know, City Towers needs the looks. He gets to battle Rosenbergs and 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 you know, Dub the Phenom gets to battle the big names, the dudes who are on the come up and trying to get their name to the next. It's beneficial for them. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We know why we're here because you want to expand the Twitch following. You want to expand. You know, if Rosenberg's on your card, it brings more eyes than what the fuck you already have on Twitch. You know, if you bring Bill Collector over, there's more eyes on this shit than it already was on Twitch. When you did the whole Grand Prix full of King of the Dot rappers, half the culture didn't even know about it. You understand what I'm saying? So you got names in here and I'm not shortchanging you guys. I'm giving you what Rosenberg Raw brings to the table. That's why I'm clearly beaming the dudes, displaying a skill gap from amateur battle rap and top level battle rap. And then you got mm-hmm. judges not seeing it that way. And then if you got a, a judge, well, I'll give you an example. The dude Hawk from UK, he's picked against me in both battles, right? If Hawk is a suburban uh, British kid who's never lived in the streets, couldn't tell you about the streets, couldn't relate to some street shit, how could he relate to where I come from? My essence of my aura that I rap about, the pain that I've, you know, that I've constructed my rounds to come up with some of this, the shit that makes Rosenberg raw. But if you rhyme Halo with Play-Doh, he's like, whoa, that's a bar. It's like, yo, you can't, these niggas aren't qualified. Yeah. These niggas are 100 bullets, hawks. These guys are not qualified to judge high-level battlers. Yeah, they're qualified to judge fucking... You know, the bottom of the rankings, I mean, those are more their level. But you can't, these niggas, ah, it's bad, bags. It's bad. And it sucks because when you speak on it, you come off as a crybaby. But it's just the fucking facts. It's the fucking facts. I think think that what they were trying to do, though, was was make it so that, you know, every type of of person, you know, was a judge. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily have a bunch of smack dudes judging KOTD guys, you know what I mean? So I get what they were trying to do, but, you know, again, like, you know, I, it comes back to, like, Mike G. Um, I, Like, I, I heard through the grapevine, too, that Mike... So Mike G was a judge from Our Future for, for your for your battle. Um, yeah. I heard... So I was watching his son. Did you have words with him online prior to this? So what I had said was um, I was having an, a... a, a debate with your honor and schemes i think on angry fan mm-hmm. and i called him a dick eater in the chat um we never i never said we exchanged words i just said that i called him a dick eater before yeah you know what i mean that's what i said um but you know that wasn't even uh when i when i got the facts in order that wasn't even why i thought his scorecard was trash um you know i I honestly believe that um, it was some eye battle shit. Yeah. I believe it was some eye battle shit. I had approached Lex Luthor the same day about him blocking me on Twitter. I'm like, yo, what's our issue? I didn't know we had an issue. And he said I was shitting on his brand. I don't ever remember tweeting or saying anything on social media about his brand. Eye battle's not that important to me enough to do that. Uh, the only time I said something about it was when I battled an eye battle battle rapper and said, you battle where the dweebs be at. That's a fact, yeah. Yeah. in my opinion. So it's 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 that type of battle rap. It's different. If it sounds like a knock, sorry, that's just how I felt. And uh, he blocked me on Twitter. I saw it, then uh, tweeted about it the day of the battle, and then come to find out, I'm battling City Towers, who's being judged by an I battle peer. It's homie. Yeah, and, and you, you know, know I, I could I could I could I could see if if the battle was close, but when City Towers himself says that you that you that he clearly lost the first round i mean it's pretty much self-explanatory you know yeah. where yeah. you know there was some type of favorite and I, and I like mike g too that's my man i you know i never met him but that's my man we talk online and shit and you know i'm a fan of his work but you know when, when something like that happens so I, I did see organic step in um you know, so so just to bring it back to so so you they they're giving you the first two rounds of the battle, yes, right, because of the choke. Like let's say that makes it ten nine. You got three judges. That's what six points, right, for the first two two rounds. Nobody judged it ten nine though. Nobody okay. judged it that way. They were and, all ten eights, and if they weren't ten eights, they were ten sevens. Now, now that's for the first two rounds as well. 
No, that's for the, the uh, third round. The, the third, um, I understand that, but the Sarah, first two rounds. I, okay, so I'll break it down to you. Sarah Connor gave me the battle 2-1. 10-9, mm-hmm. 10-9, nine, 10 10-8 him in the third. Rain gave it to me 10-9, 10-9, 10-8 to him in the third. Showtime gave it to me 10-9, 10-9, 10-7, him in the third. Hawk gave it to me 10-9, him 10-9, and him 10-7. So only one – shout-out to Rolling Your Day. My girl just bought up a package from <laughs> Shout-out to my guy, Avocado, and the boys. They just got here. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Damn, we just talked two days ago. They overnighted. I appreciate y'all, man. I love you all that. Um, what's that, more bills, babe? <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, man, um, what was I saying? Uh, you, you, you're breaking down the score. Ten, you, you said that oh, so, Hulk so, dude so, gave so, 10, 7, 10, 10. Yes, and then uh, Showtime gave it. Uh, 10-7, which was also a fucking silly scorecard, but I mean, that's that's the way he saw it. Um, you know, I, I'm literally rapping in my grace period. I fucked up at the end of my round after my two minutes, which I was contracted to rap. I, then I tried to freestyle past the grace period, whether and then I stopped sloppy, but the round was over, the round was completed, there was no reason to 10-7. Right? I've been giving flawless performances. You guys are literally hedging the playoffs, you know, on misinformed information on how to judge the fucking battle. Now, now real quick, too, um, he, here's here's where I had the issue, right? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Your, your third round you, you're, is exactly, I was there. You did, like, the choke was there. We're not, we're not going to say that, that the choke wasn't there. I it have was, to take responsibility for that. I was yeah. okay with anybody who scored at 10-8 City. But, but, His but, best but, let his me, best me, round was his third round. Exactly. But let me say this, too. You did choke, but it was towards the end of your round. But my thing, too, is in, on the scorecards, his second round, he was getting there, and he stopped short. Right? He fucked up. He and, ended, and, he ended and, abruptly in the middle of a bar. Yeah. And, and like, again, I, I don't know. Like, And this is where the confusion is for me. Because, see, if you would have just stopped, right? That means that you clearly win the battle, but you tried to get the bars out. So because you tried to give 100% and you didn't stop yourself short, they're they're basically losing you the battle. And he wasn't penalized because no, he stopped No, he wasn't short. penalized in the second round. See, no, he that's, wasn't. That's what I have a problem with more than – because I don't have a problem with 10-7 or 10-8, even though... No, you know, me and my team, like, and that's one thing I want to be clear at, too, right? Um, We have to... We own that. We own that. Like, and that's one thing my brother didn't let me do. None of my gang let me do. Like, yo, you fucked up in the third. You should have just stopped. You tried to freestyle. You fucked up. It should have been a 10-8 round. His round was good enough to beat you that round. But we felt like we washed him in the first two. Mm-hmm. Washed him, right? Um... You know, I mean, I, I don't know. Bags, I, again, I, I don't think – I'm not trying to sound big-headed or cocky or anything. It's just like, yeah. listen, man, I, I truly believe that we're displaying a skill gap in the competitors that they put me in front of. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm truly just more skilled than City Towers. Yeah. On paper, it's a fact, and and, and, and the proof is, is, is on film that I'm just more skilled battle rapper. Than them. Yeah. Um, and there's 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 – that doesn't mean I'm, there's, there's, there's battle rappers more skilled than me. There's, there's nobody's the best. You know what I'm saying? So there's a pecking order. Um, and those dudes are, are, are not as skilled as me. So when we're, when we're doing these battles and you can tell there's just a level to it, but these guys are, are, are getting, scoring it as pity points. It's weird, man. It's weird. Yeah. So, so real, so I don't want to dwell on this too much. Um, but as far as, you know, like wrapping the whole situation up. I did, I have to commend Organic because I did see him step in. Um, I don't know what went on behind the scenes. I don't know how much you could talk about it, but um, I did see Organic step in. I did see him say that he was going to have a meeting with the judges and all of that. So uh, what ended up, I have, I, I didn't see an announcement. Um, was there an announcement? So they, yeah, they made an announcement. Um Saturday and Sunday before the event started uh, for week two for the second part of the East Coast. Mickey faxed an announcement and said that they were taking Mike G's scorecard off of the, the, the battle 
and using Showtime SPs. And, um, you know, that's what that's that. And that gave me three more points. Okay. So that turned to 137. That's what they scored my performance versus City Towers, a 137. That turned it into a 140, essentially putting me in a position where I have to 3 0 newborn and get a 150 to get in the playoffs. Yeah. And, 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 and not, not to, again, not to creep dwelling, but I did see that like active from the West Coast didn't even battle and got a higher score than that. Yes. You know, which, which is weird. You know, I get what they was trying to do, but to me, like not battling and you having the performance you did. It, like it's it's just the whole thing's weird to me, man. Hey, bro. Bad. I think, and, and and yo, again, I love King King of the Dot. This isn't like a shot at them. What? I just think that like they're like the way that it's being presented to the fans is very confusing. You know what I mean? Very, very confusing, yo. So um, I mean, they're all over the place with the scorecard, yeah. man. So yeah, you know, um, I'm gonna fulfill my um. And real, every- real quick too. Uh, last question about that too. So you said Showtime gave it ten seven. Sarah gave it ten eight, ten eight, ten seven. Was there a reason for the two point difference? Is that what you were saying about the judges? Like they're not judging it the same because it obviously yeah. should have been the same, correct? Yeah. Um, you got some ten sevens and then you got some ten eights. Yeah. So you don't know why. You know, one voted 10-7 and one voted 10 Sure I do. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're <laughs> misinformed on how they're judging the battles. Yeah. And that goes for all the judges that 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 are mistaking on how to how to call these things. I mean, I fuck with show. I fuck with Rain. Um, you know, I yeah. fuck with um Family Man Hayes, a bunch of judges I fuck with. They're 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 yeah, they're yeah. good um people, you know what I'm saying? But certain, you know, certain you got you got to get a grip on what's going on here. And you can't make that mistake. And if you don't know, ask. Yeah. Because last time I checked, you guys are getting paid to judge. It's not a favor. You're getting paid, which means it's a job, which means you have fucking obligations to do it the right way. Yeah. And that's another, there's like 100,000 on the line. It's not 10,000. It's not 5,000. This is life changing. And, and, there, and, there's, and there's 48 rappers in the tournament and 45 of them are on my level. So it's yeah. like, it, it, you know, I, I know it's gonna come off like Ross feeling himself and he's smelling himself. So fucking what? Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You don't see me lose. You don't see people just cook me in battles because I'm good at it. So, you know, I, I when I do my job, when I go to King of the Dot, uh, that type of league, and I give them, you know, the performances that I give them, I just expect the judges to do their job. Yeah. And it's embarrassing to even be a part of something like this with my name attached to it when all I did was been doing my fucking job. I mean, yeah, you know, it is what it is, bags. Yeah. Now, um. Also, um, you did put out a tweet um, saying that you wasn't going to rap anymore over there. Um, that was two what, minutes what, after the decision. Yeah, what, yeah, what's the status about that? Are you still in the tournament? Are you not? What, so I have on? one more battle. Uh, I have one more battle. Uh, they still owe me a little bit of money. So, uh, like I said, we're going to fulfill our obligations. We decided to go go ahead and, and finish off the battle. Um Okay. We got newborn, uh, no disrespect to born. It's somebody That's we good. feel like we should be able to handle. Um, so we said, fuck it. You know, we'll, we'll finish it out. Won't nobody be able to say we owe them anything or Word. we um, we we did anything as far as bad business. Yeah, but don't expect me to uh, to speak nicely or, or uh, you know, water anything down about how I feel. Yeah, I won't yeah. do that. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame. Let's go!